Hey guys, 3XD here bringing you the Ninebot Max stem repair video today. Finally got it done. And so here it is shortly. Um, before we get started with that, please like and subscribe if you like my content and like this video. Uh, it takes me a while to edit and shoot and blah, blah, blah. So I appreciate your support um, for the likes and subscribes. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below after the video. Thank you. See you later. I've got three bar clamps on here and now I'm going in with the freaking tire levers because getting this off the bead is a nightmare. I mean this takes like, these are 140 pound uh, max clamps of pressure. I don't know in SI system unfortunately. Okay so I've got this like as much as I can. This is definitely more of a project than I expected. Oh and use a real chair because this is, this is difficult. I'm going to pull this off. Yeah, I can't even get the tire lever in there because it's so... I have to jam it in there. Oh, I got it! I got it! Holy shit. Okay, I got it off. Oh my god. What a nightmare that was. <laughs> but once you get the little start of it, it's actually not that bad. Um, it's just the beginning, uh, getting there. In the beginning, that's a nightmare. Okay, now that I have that exposed, you can see the the valve stem there sticking out, the little sucker. Now I should be able to take my pliers. Oh, fudge, fudge nut. My new stem is right here, ordered from Segway Los Angeles. Who needs to get USPS shipping so it's not so expensive? Now I should be able to just yank it out from behind, hopefully. And I'm not going to care about breaking it because it's already broken. I'm going to have to put something on the back side so that it doesn't disappear into the black hole under my. Scooter, you really need two set of pliers for this, to be honest. I could just rip it out. <laughs> I could do that too. I suppose. But just break it. That might be more. Yep. Okay, well, tore it off. That's fine. <laughs> it was an old one. Whatever. I need to get this sucker out of here. That might make it easier now. I'll pull it from behind. Okay. I found my Allen set, actually. So I'm going to try to use the largest one possible to safely push this through. Without damaging anything. All right, so obviously it has to go on from the inside. Should I take this? I have to take this off. Unscrew that. The cap. Level 10 difficulty of my think of projects that I've done. Uh, I wish I could lube up that actual hole that I'm putting this into somehow. Just putting more of this gummy fledge spoogy stuff around here. <coughs> the point remains that I have to get this in here without damaging. Oh, freaking slippery now too. That's very terrible. Let's make a choose an Allen that will go in here easily. Oh, the three. I just want to guide it through here. Oh, this is a freaking small space though. I There's not enough space. I don't have enough freaking space in there. 
Or else I gotta grab this with the, the damn pliers. I'm gonna literally shove this old mask in here and then use it as a guide so that I don't lose my damn valve stem like that into the freaking tire abyss which would be a nightmare Fuck, just fucking go oh I got it I got it in now I have to get it all the way through I'm gonna have to just pull this through to like push one side and pull the other side it is in it's in place oh my god I finally got it in place what a nightmare oh it is in place I got it in there uh, the angle everything was very challenging but it's in so Nice slime mask for free. I've got the new one in there so you can see it in there. So, I'm gonna take this off. Time to let the tire Let's go back to somewhat normal. Maybe 45. See if I can pop this sucker on here. Yeah, I think that actually did it. Popped back on. Heard the pop. And pressure is a bit high for my liking right now, but now it's deflated again like I've seen to make sure it really seated. It does look properly seated. I didn't actually use any soap water, which I've seen in a lot of videos, but uh, I got it anyways. Victory! Alright, this is going for the final inflation. I'm going to put it back to 45. And we'll go with that. That's about it. I think I'm done. Holy crap, I'm just going to test it with my other uh, pressure sensor on uh, this uh, prior tire pressure sensor 42 bit low but uh, doable I'm going to test it out